How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be unboxing the Micron 5 uh, S model. This is actually a 2T variant, so I have two temperature sensors here uh, in this one, but this is the S model. This just came out very recently. I actually had a, a Micron 5 2T ordered, and I got this thing because the old model was back ordered. They switched components, and uh, now we have a new system. So anyway, this has a better CPU or better processor inside of it. It has a higher resolution GPS, so you're going to get more points on the map when you go back and look at the, the race. There's a couple other enhancements as well. I think the Wi-Fi has been enhanced, uh, so you can transfer data a lot quicker uh, as well. There's some information about it on their website. You can scroll through and check out. But anyway, I'm going to unbox this, show you what's in it, talk a little bit about it. I have the cart over here. Uh, maybe we'll even go check that out a little bit, putting it on there. And uh, in a later video, I'm going to take it out and run it. Although it's January, so I'm, I don't know if I'll get to the track or what'll happen there, or we'll just take it out and uh, run it on the street. So either way, let's unbox this thing. All right, so here you see it. This is the Micro 5 2TS. And actually, funny thing, that is actually a sticker. Like, they had some of these boxes laying around, they updated it, and then they just like used the boxes they had. So this is brand new, but they, I did read about it. There's a couple enhancements. So uh, anyway, let's open it up and take a look. Inside, okay, that looks like about what we're looking for. And there it is. So it is packaged in foam, uh, so it transports, uh, you know, safely. Let's pull her out here. Cool, so there you see the unit. Uh, no battery attached currently. You can see the mounting stud here. The, the battery actually will attach here. And then there's a couple different inputs for uh, temperature, lap sensor, uh, and expansion or PC connectivity. Uh, and I guess your uh, tack wire will actually clip in in the bottom here as well. So uh, anyway, there is the unit. Let's see what else came in the box with it. All right, so there's some little cards here with information, a couple AIM stickers. Check that stuff out. Uh, then we have the accessory box. So there is a uh, power adapter. This is going to have a USB output, uh, so you can plug that in to any wall outlet to charge the unit. We have the battery, which has a couple of screws. I don't know if you can see that, where you actually fasten it onto the back of the system. You'll take the, uh, the gold pins, flip it on like that, and then screw them fast. When you mount this, you have to make sure you have clearance so that the battery can come in and out easily. So if you put it in the center of the steering wheel, you might get in trouble. Uh, if you have a bracket, uh, AIM makes a bracket that you can you can get, obviously. Uh, just keep that in mind. We also have here the charging cable, so USB, and then uh, the adapter on the end for the battery. And it looks like it just clips right on there. Oh, and it's actually magnetic, so there's a magnet on there, and then this is a steel piece, kind of locks right on there, so that's pretty slick. Uh, cool thing about it being USB, is you could charge that with anything that's USB, a computer, a as long as it has enough output, you could charge it in the uh, cigarette lighter of your car if you have a little adapter, uh, or you could charge it with the thing it came with. Uh, it really doesn't matter, but uh, plenty of charging options, which is good. So here is the tack wire. There's a clip for the spark plug wire. You can clip that on, and then the other end is going to just come up through your uh, through the back of the system here and give you your engine RPM readout. We then have the temperature leads. Now, if you did not get a 2T model, you're gonna get one of the options here, All right? So this is cylinder head temperature. You have the copper ring to go under the spark plug, heat shielded cable here, and then a plug to plug into the breakout cable, which has two plugs, and it has the plug that goes into the back of the Micron itself. Uh, and then the uh, the two outlets here go to cylinder head temperature or water jacket temperature or exhaust gas temperature, which is what this last sensor is. As you can see, as the sensor there, and uh, yeah, we'll just put that back on. But uh, each of these actually plugs in so that you can, you know, take the engine off without unwiring the whole thing. So uh, anyway, there you have it. That is the Micron 5 S 2T. All right, so when it comes to mounting the Micron, uh, you wanna sit in the cart, make sure that you're comfortable, 
in that wherever the heck this thing ends up, it's not going to be somewhere that you're going to get it in your knees or hands or something like that. Uh, under normal conditions, even probably under a little bit more extreme conditions, like if you hit something, something like that, uh, you want to make sure it's fast and securely because the wires are probably not going to hold it if it goes flying off of the, uh, the bracket. Uh, sometimes you see stuff like this mounted on the steering wheel. That's probably fine because the steering is pretty quick. Uh, sometimes you see guys have it mounted out here somehow. Um, whatever you're into, just make sure it's on there good. This is a really crappy steering wheel, so I'm probably going to just mount it right to the steering wheel just to take it out the street if I have to drill another hole in it. Cool, whatever, I'll do it. Um, there's a hole here, but that one does not work particularly well just with the connectors and everything. So uh, yeah, go ahead and figure out where it's going to fit on your cart and get it mounted. In my case, I'm going to drill a hole like right here and mount that bad boy right there and uh, see how it looks. Here we go. So when you have a mounting location figured out, you want to just put the thing through, make sure you have the rubber washers in place. Very important to prevent damage from vibration. Put that in place, put the stud through, put a, another rubber washer on the back, and put the steel washer and the lock nut on the back as well. Now the lock nut's very important because you don't want it to vibrate loose. Uh, that's important, and it's actually a half inch lock nut. So. Uh, and get your American wrenches out. You probably don't use them for anything else on the cart, but you can at least put this on with the uh, half inch wrench. When you think you're about set, you want to verify that the thing is stable, that it can, you know, wiggle just a little bit, that it's not rigid, right? So that the, it doesn't vibrate along with the cart. And then, uh, yeah, make sure it's on there good. Now it's time to wire up the leads to the engine and uh, give this thing a try. With the Micron mounted, you want to connect the cables. I actually routed them inside this corrugated, you know, wire management stuff here. Take it down beside the gas tank, keeping it close to the steering column, down by the frame. What I'll do then is in here, I will fasten it to the frame rail so that it, um, you know, it doesn't move, doesn't go anywhere, doesn't get pulled. And then you have to bring it up to the engine which you can see here, and uh, I did a couple different things here. I have the, the, the wire harness thing coming here. I loop the connectors for the temperature sensors back on themselves. I may change that, but the reason I did that was so that I can then loop them and they're not, there's not, not a lot of extra slack, right? I can manage the extra length there. And then I pull the RPM wire that goes to the, to the plug wire, I pull that out separately and kind of route it accordingly. Alright, so that is going to do it for today's video on the Micron 5. If you want me to cover some other features and functionality on this thing, uh, let me know in the comments section what you want to see. Uh, I'm going to take it for a burn on the street here in a couple days, so stay tuned for that. Um, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Ring the bell. Get notified of the latest content. There's definitely more coming. Uh, with that being said, I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.